Well, Coach, we often say this first quarter of the season, now five games in, you want to be at 500 or better. You sit at three and two. And after this four-game road streak, what do you feel confident you know about this group? I think we're getting better. Uh, you know, getting Steel Stanwick and Josh Byrne back made our attack a lot more dangerous. Stanwick had five last week, scores his first of the game tonight. 3-0 run to start the second half by the Bayhawks. How about the fight, too? If you go to the, the Boston game and the Denver game, the last two, these wins have shown that when you're not at your best over the course of 60 minutes, which is challenging, you're still able to get wins against a quality opponent. I thought the thing I liked in the Boston game is we're down 8-4 at half, not playing exceptionally well. I thought we were a little impatient. But in the fourth quarter, if you heard our guys talking on the sidelines, they were trying to figure out how they could score. You know, we got to run this or we got to run that when we do this. And that there was no panic on the sidelines. So that was a real positive. And quite honestly, after giving up 22 against Denver, holding them to three in the second half was a positive for our defense too. Up in the air now, Turry had it nabbed. How about this play by Amato? The Coley all the way across the field. And he gets rid of it. Amato's going to take off for the cage. How about that aggression? I, you know, we're playing a little quicker. We're playing faster. Last year we played the same way, but I think we're getting a little better at it right now. And I thought Matt Reese's second game playing down low in the second half, I thought he started to get comfortable. Boston hasn't scored yet in the second half. Moore has it nubbed out. Nicely done by Matt Reese. Reese moving across quickly. Chesapeake looking for transition O. McKay with Mitch Belisle on him. We have nine minutes to go in the third. It's McKay barreling through. His first MLL goal comes in Hingham. Uh, Ian McKay was in a little different situation. Ryan Tucker was coaching a high school playoff game. We didn't think he could make it, and so we put Ian in a lineup to give him a chance, and I thought he made some really good plays. He got the assist on the 11th goal, the tying goal, he scored a goal, and he had some other good opportunities. So when you bring guys in that are new, you, you don't want them to have the ball first, you know, and uh, they didn't screw it up. Ian McKay the dish. Miles Jones with the left. Money. I think what's most impressive, too, they neither of them look like they're overwhelmed by the, the stage either. I mean, Sean Mayo, obviously comfortable being in Denver for the first game, but Ian McKay seemed to jump right off the screen as a guy who was, I think he took a shot on his first dodge. I like Ian. I think Ian's a talented guy. I think he's an older guy. You know, he's a fifth-year guy, and he's always had the attention. He's always been the best player on the field. So uh, I think he'll be a top five pick in the indoor draft. And I think he's a guy, these guys are, like you say, when you draft guys that are either the best player on their team or guys that have, you know, played at really high levels, you usually don't have a, a big jump for them to be successful. Two seconds for Turi. No way he's getting a shot off. Great coverage by the short stick there. Mark Lassini. But spent a lot of time talking about the offense. This defense, which is kind of reshaped, Nico's getting the start the last two games. Where is that group strong, and where are the priorities for you and Bob Schillinglaw in making sure they're starting to peak here as we hit the midpoint? Yeah, I, you know, right now we still have a lot of questions. You know, I th we'll get Jesse Bernhardt back for the next game. That'll be a big help for us. Sean Mayo is in his second game playing pole, and I think he's played very well. I, Isaiah Davis Allen, we're asking the world of at wing of every face off and cover, you know, a really quick guy in this league, which is difficult. Uh, I thought Mark Rossini, uh, he's played in two of the last three games. He played Kevin Cooper at seven goals the week before and held him to one assist. Boston scored the last two. Off balance, the flip. Pinnell lost his stick momentarily. Bayhawks hunt him down and forced the ball out. Great clear. And I thought he did a great job the uh, the other night. And Nick Manis has been very solid. So I, I don't think we're anywhere near where we have to be. We, ha we don't have that trust factor that we know if we put guys in spots that they're going to support each other. And when stuff gets bad, I think we look around and say, I don't want my guy to score. So we got we, we got a ways to go there. And Jill Lassini comes in and scores. Gets right in the face of the Cannons defense. Mark Lassini.
as you start to in the next few weeks with the return of Bernhardt and Lyle in a couple weeks and, and, and Matt Danowski when they wrap up their coaching duties, you have your, your consistent 19 man. But the role players, and we started to see a couple of those against Boston. You mentioned Glassini, Maloney. As you guys try and reach the overarching goal, how important will they be to, to the formula you guys are building? Well, if you notice, uh, John Maloney and Matt Abbott were out there a lot. And Miles has gotten in a good enough shape now that we're double shifting him in the fourth quarter. And that really helps us because he takes a lot of pressure off those guys. In fact, the 14th goal was Miles drawing somebody, banging it to Maloney, and Maloney skipping it out to Abbott and helping us. When you play guys that can play offense and defense, can get back in transition, it makes the game simpler. And right now we're trying, we've been trying the last couple of years to have a group of guys that can run up and down. And if you push the ball on one end, you gotta be able to run back on the other end. And that's what Maloney and uh, Abbott have been giving us right now. Rogers, over to Maloney, skip, shot, score. That could be the dagger, Matt Abbott putting one through. Five goal run here for Chesapeake to go up three at crunch time. Brennan, not at it. Seems to be able to do it all now. 